Hello and welcome to Cheltenham Racecourse on the Tuesday of the um, festival meeting. Uh, it's pretty exciting, isn't it, George? Unbelievably exciting. I mean, what a, what a four days ahead we have. I mean, and especially today. This this is the big day of punting today. So if you're not excited, I don't think you have been. It's got to be the best day's racing of the year. So starting off with the Supreme Novices, I mean, it's, this is the most fantastic bad each way betting. The bookmakers competing for all your money and the offers are just fantastic and every race, pretty much every race is framed for a bad each way bet. Uh, first race you've got Skybet offering five places, uh, what do you fancy in it? Uh, I know it's a bit short but I like Steps to Freedom very much, I'm, I think, I think I've had it, I had it anti at nines, it's now about seven to one, I think I'm, I'm just going to top off in course today. Yeah I like that as well, I back, I back that as well. Uh, moving on to the Arkle, I mean I, I am very very keen on Menorah. Uh, I've, I've had a large bet on Menorah each way at 14s. And uh, do you fancy anything else? What do you think of Sprinter Sacra? Well, Sprinter Sacra, I can't have the prices. I mean, it might be rubbing it in a bit to say that I've got some sevens anti post. Um, but uh, not those prices. You've got, you've got to find something to oppose that. Have a nice each way bet. Even if you go for Q card, you never know. It might fall, but I think the, I think the smart money's on Menorah today. I can't have Q card at all. I, I mean, he may win, but I can't see him at the prices. Is, is no value. Champion hurdle, so well, well, is, is the fly going to do it? I've, you've got to, you almost got to say yes. I mean, you, you'd love to see, love to see him regain that crown. But again, in terms of the betting markets, let, 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 let's get our betting heads on. And uh, and binoculars, the obvious each way punt. Um, personally, I've I've got a soft spot for Zarkander. The Zarkand is massively on the drift this morning, there's no Usually. confidence and from the Nichols stable you would expect a Nichols horse to be shortening, you know, there's so many punters and uh, that, that drift is worrying. Uh, everything I hear from Seven Barrows and Nicky Henderson suggests that binoculars is in tip top form. I think it, uh, I, th I think it's sort of 5 to 1, 11 to 2, that uh, cracking each way bet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, indeed. In terms of the recommendation, stick with binoculars, don't listen to me. And is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, I've, I've, not really. Looking at the cross country, I find it, it's a difficult race to have a bet in. Uh, I've had a bet on Scots Irish and I'm not feeling confident. I would not say follow. I'm not feeling confident about that at all. Well, I have to say in the cross country, it's a 16 runner handicap. It's got, I mean, it's absolutely the best each way terms. Unless the bookmaker somehow gets something pulled out. 16 runners is just too good. I, uh, Sizing Australia won this race last year. I think he's almost a bet to nothing each way. Uh, five places, uh, no, four places, so a five to one with Bet365. I think he's a great each way bet. I agree with him. Anyway, thanks for watching and check back tomorrow morning uh, as we'll have Cheltenham, uh, the Wednesday Cheltenham preview uh, up on liveodsandscores.com. Enjoy the racing.